Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Grand Theft Auto 4. This is Brian with Unknown Empire Gaming. And last week, we, uh, ultimately, we, uh, were pitted between, uh, Dwayne and Playboy. And, uh, I chose to kill Playboy. Because, Dwayne, Dwayne, no one loves Dwayne no more. So, you gotta show him some love by killing Playboy. This is markedly slower than, you know, taking the elevator down, but I just like doing it. Alright, let's see. We still have uh, UL paper, and then the mystery contact. Uh, but we're going to finish out uh, UL. No, I'm sorry, were you in here? Where you want to go? Take me to Iron Street. Wow. On our way. Uh, don't play with the windows. That's what I fucking thought. Okay, here we are, Bucko. Come in. You're late, and please calm down out there. Excuse me? I didn't give you a free pass to act like an asshole. You're bringing a lot of heat. Hang out with bad people doing bad things, making idiot moves. I'm an idiot. I move. True, but the last thing I need is you getting caught. Why? Because I lead them to you in some plea bargain thing? To me? Who am I? There's a hundred guys in this building alone who fit my description. Middle-aged men, paunchy, glasses. You bring them here? What's this? Empty office? Leased to a man who died in the last days of Vietnam? Ooh. Call me up. Huh. My number never existed. No, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I think you'll end up on a flight deck, but that's your business. Then what? Because you're good. Because I need you to keep being good. And you're getting distracted. Oh. Oh. Funny. Oh. Yeah, good. I need someone neutralized. Guy is moving a lot of money for terrorists. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. The guy's gotta go, but I need to know his movements first. How? Huh? I've got something that's going to help you. Head over to Albany Avenue in Lancet and give me a call. Go! Can I get paid for this? Can I get a medal? Did you get a medal in your last war? What did you give Michelle? For me? Michelle? Karen? We gave her a life back. We didn't play too rough. We gave her some money. She still works for us. What about me? We'll discuss that later. about to see a chopper taking off from Civilization Plaza. We need to get hold of it. Follow it. Wait until it touches down. Then, when the passengers are out, get in and fly to the airport in Dukes. Okay, then.
up here. I haven't flown one of these things since the war! Look at the picture of a booty. Thank you. We'll take it from here. I need it. The guy I told you about. The guy you need to eliminate. The only way you'll get to him is in the air. I'll call you when we have a window. Goodbye.
Hi, welcome to Burger Chot. How can I help you? Here. Goodbye, have a nice day. Greeting, Star. Take care. Nobody knows this city better than me. Just pass. Sorry. Were you followed? Hey, strange seeing you here, Officer McCreary. I told you to come here, fucking maggot. You did? Why? I know about you. Know what? I know enough, boy. Oh, what do you know, boy? I know you killed Mikhail Faustin. I know a group of Russians want you dead. I know you ain't no saint, boy. I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. <laughs> you think this is a town that can keep a secret? I really don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. You know that a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. That people ain't perfect, that life is a mess. Sure, everybody knows that. So? You look out for me, and I don't look out for you. <laughs> know what I mean? I think so. So there's a guy trying to blackmail me. Who? I don't know. Thinks he's getting paid, though. The guy's smart. He arranged to do the exchange by the Humboldt River off Silicon Street. Said to call him from the viewpoint there. Okay. Listen, I did what I did. <laughs> I made a mistake. That don't make me the devil. Now, obviously, I can't go, because then he gets a picture of me giving him money, and I'm admitting guilt. I ain't guilty of nothing, other than being a man. To be honest, I don't really care one way or another. Well, I'm a good man. No doubt. Now, call me when you get to the spot.
I'm in the park. Now what? All right. One this guy told me to bring the money there and call him. That means he's somewhere close and he's got a phone. I'm gonna Thanks. text you his number. You've got to call him and keep a lookout for someone answering a phone. He won't be far. The government can't tell me to quit. I refuse. Ain't that the truth? Everyone's jealous of the fuck machine. Great, thank you. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Hello? Smoking just Excuse makes me cool. A friend. No I'm calling about yes. your exchange with McCreary. Yeah? You better have my paper. I ain't fucking around. I'm sure he's got your money. Have you got the stuff he wants? Yeah, I got it. We're gonna make this shit happen. I don't mess around, you know. Push me, and this shit is all over Weasel News. I got them on speed dial. Really? He's hungry for McGreary's blood and shit. Yeah. Good thing Francis is paying, then. Call me when this exchange is going down. I don't like all the talking. Yeah. Hola. Get your hot dogs here! I think you should be allowed to buy a license to smoke inside. Oh, that's gotta I might die early, but I'll die fit. One of those, please. Anna. Definitely. Get it before it's You're gone. A star. Puta, I'll break your fucking knee. Not doing this right now. Kindly fuck yourself, game.
Here. He's dead. Great. I can get rid of these now. I feel like a new man. Not many people get a second chance like this. It's my redemption. Your sins are absolved, I guess. Alrighty guys, so that'll be it for this episode. Next time around, we'll follow up with uh, Mr. McCready. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next week.